Hi, I'm Brad Shores, and this is Tropical Shores Steel Drum Lessons. And on today's lesson, we're going to look at the song Red Red Wine. The song Red Red Wine has very few uh, chord changes, but uh, some people have written in and talked about how do you fill space uh, between the melody, which is kind of a it's kind of a, a linear melody, meaning it's just it goes on for a little while, and there's a lot of space in between phrases. So what do you do between the phrases? And I always what I always do is I will comp or I'll play a little bit of the chords between. Uh, phrases, for instance, that's a long phrase, so I might go. playing those little short uh, hits as, as, a, as a fill, and it's easier to do when I'm playing with it. And another thing that I'll do is I will harmonize, instead of just playing G, B, C, I might go G, B, C, and E. Now the E I'm using is six notes down from the, from the C, which is the note, so we call that a sixth. It's six notes down, and pretty much the melody I will harmonize in six, and I will write that, uh, they'll be annotated. But uh, we'll run through the melody and I'll, I'll do some of that comping. We'll talk about it after that. C chord, C, E, G, the F chord, the D minor chord, and the uh, G chord. I comp the chord when I felt like I could leave the melody for just a second. And it just helps to fill time. And it, so you don't stand there and just go... Um, um. So it becomes a little bit... If you're ready to move on to that next part, it, it seems like it just helps fill time and it makes you sound like a better player. And on the improvisation 
The C scale works great on this. The C uh, scale C E G I'm sorry C D E F G A B C. I did a couple of uh, patterns like uh, I started on F and came down. I did like uh, triplets coming down like E like that and that using that pattern. I also used the pentatonic scale C pentatonic scale. Five note scale, penta, C pentatonic, is the C, D, E, G, A. And that works over this entire song. In fact, anything in the C scale will work over this entire song. And yes, you can, you can personalize the chords a little bit, uh, and that works even better, but um, the harmonization really makes this song fun. There's two different ways to do that. One is the, uh, what we talked about, the sixth note down, count six notes from where you're at, for instance, E. E, D, C, B, A, G. There's my two harmony notes, or there's my harmony note with the melody. On F, it's A. On G, it's B. And all, if you wanted to, you could do a third down, meaning count the count three down from, uh, let's start with F. F, E, D. Okay, that works too. E and C, D and B. I just tend to like the more open sound of the sixth. As opposed to, very similar, but I tend to use the sixth just because it sounds better. Uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, there's no right or wrong there. It's just you can you can vary it up. Or you can use them back and forth. Uh, use all of one, whatever. And then of course the embellishments. The uh, E flat to E. And also repetition or other things that we use to improv. Um, uh, scale tones. Uh, the, I'll doing the scale tone. Sorry, C E G, F A C, D F A, G B D, C E G, F A C, D F A. Now I'm using those in different orders, but if you want to play scale tones or chord tones during those chords, that's also a great way to do it. You can play them this way too. I'm using those scale, those chord tones only I'm playing them in a rhythmic manner. So um, you could do that, or uh, you could do scale patterns, or you could do embellishments, or you can also tell that I quoted the melody at some point in there. I came back to the melody just to, to kind of regroup. So that's a great way to, uh, to do improv on Red Red Wine, and also fill space, which uh, on this one is kind, of a, it's kind of wide open for you. So we have fun with that. Well, that's it for this time. I want to thank you for watching the YouTube channel, and uh, please feel free to leave comments and uh, subscribe so that you can see the new ones when they come out. If you have music needs, please go to tropicalshores.net, check that out. And if you uh, would like to go to panland.name.com and join that, there, that's a, so, a social site. It's a social network for pan players, and there's free music on there sometimes, downloadables, uh, and there's pictures and videos from people all over the world. So please feel free to do that. We'll see you next time. Bye.